Hello there. I'm Jorge Maya, and we'll be talking with you today about what AI is. Imagine possessing a magical cookbook that provides recipes and learns from your taste preferences, suggesting dishes you might enjoy. Each time you cook a dish, you provide feedback, and over time, the cookbook becomes proficient at, underst uh, at understanding your tastes. Sounds too good to be true, right? However, this is precisely what AI is, a collection of computer programs that learn from experiences and improve over time. AI doesn't merely follow a set of fixed instructions, but adjusts based on new information or outcomes. It can analyze patterns in large amounts of data, much more than a human could process, to make predictions, decisions, or recommendations in various fields. So AI is like having a super smart assistant that gets better at helping you the more it learns about what you need or prefer. Now, how does AI work? Understanding the flow of data from acquisition to inference within AI involves several key steps. This journey transforms raw data into actionable insights. Firstly, there's data acquisition, which is the process of collecting or generating data relevant to a specific AI problem. This could involve gathering images for facial recognition, compiling historical sales data for forecasting, or collecting text for sentiment analysis. Next comes data pre-processing. This involves cleaning the data by removing inaccuracies, duplicates, or irrelevant data. The data is then transformed into a format that can be effectively used by an AI model. We then reach the data splitting stage. The process data is divided into at least two sets, one for training the model and one for evaluating its performance. Sometimes a third set called a validation set is used for tuning model parameters. This ensures that the model can generalize its predictions to new unseen data. The fourth step is model selection. An AI ML model is chosen based on the nature of the problem, data type, and the desired outcome. This involves evaluating different models to determine which performs best for the specific task. Once the model is selected, we move on to model training. The training data is fed into the model, allowing it to learn from it. The model makes predictions and adjusts its parameters based on the difference between its predictions and the actual outcomes. Finally, there's model evaluation. Here, the validation set is used to fine-tune the model parameters without overfitting to the training data. The test set is applied to assess the model's performance. So to summarize, AI is a collection of computer programs that learn from experiences and improve over time. It involves a series of steps, from data acquisition to model evaluation, transforming raw data into actionable insights. AI is like having a super smart assistant that gets better at helping you the more it learns about what you need or prefer. Now that you know about the process, let's dive into the subsets of AI. Machine learning is the core subset of AI that focuses on developing algorithms and statistical models that enable computers to perform specific tasks without using explicit instructions. Instead, they rely on patterns and inference derived from data. Some applications are spam detection in emails, recommendation systems, and predictive modeling in finance or healthcare. Deep learning is a subset of ML that utilizes artificial neural networks with multiple layers to model complex patterns in data. Deep learning is particularly effective for tasks involving large amounts of unstructured data, such as images and text. We can use it in image and speech recognition, language translation, and autonomous vehicles.
Natural language processing involves the development of algorithms that allow computers to understand, interpret, and generate human language. This includes both understanding, which is called natural language understanding, NLU, and production, called natural language generation, NLG of language. Common applications are chatbots, sentiment analysis, and language translation services. Cognitive computing aims to mimic human thought processes in a computerized model. It involves self-learning systems that use data mining, pattern recognition, and natural language processing to mimic the way the human brain works. Some applications are healthcare for personalized medicine, finance for risk assessment, and education for personalized learning. We have to talk about the large language models, LLMs, a subset of artificial intelligence focusing on processing and understanding human language. They are designed to generate text, comprehend input, translate languages, answer questions, and create content resembling human writing. Here's a deeper look into LLMs. Here are some characteristics First, about size, the large in large language models, refers to the number of parameters these models have. Parameters are essentially the parts of the model that are learned from data. And in LLMs, they can number in the billions or even trillions. This vast number of parameters allows LLMs to better capture the nuances of language. LLMs are trained on extensive collections of text data. This data can include books, articles, websites, and other forms of written text available on the internet. By training on various sources, LLMs learn a broad understanding of language, including grammar, syntax, semantics, and even some aspects of common sense and world knowledge. Most LLMs today are based on a type of neural network architecture, known as the transformer. Introduced in the paper, Attention is All You Need by Vaswani et al. In 2017, transformer models are particularly effective for tasks involving sequential data, like language. Those are really powerful, and I can list some capabilities for you. LLMs can generate coherent and contextually relevant text based on a prompt. This capability is useful for content creation, storytelling, and even code generation applications. These models can understand written content and answer questions about it. This is beneficial for search engines, customer service automation, and educational tools. LLMs can translate text between languages, contributing to more accessible communication across the globe. In summary, they can condense long pieces of text into shorter summaries, maintaining the original content's main points and context. LLMs can also evaluate the sentiment of text, determining whether the tone is positive, negative, or neutral. This is particularly useful for analyzing customer feedback, social media monitoring, and market research. One good example is the GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer, developed by OpenAI, which is widely recognized and can generate human-like text and interact with others. You can access this in Azure today and integrate it into your solutions. A few years ago, we were afraid of deep fakes, but today I cloned my voice to do this session, and it worked very well, as you can see. I curated and researched all the content by myself, and then AI was used to create this presentation. Talking about ethics, privacy, and security, how we use AI will drive our future. In this field, we need humans and real brains. I can definitely talk for hours about AI, but the idea was to keep it simple and not take too much of your time. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep innovating. Enjoy the rest of the AI Skills Challenge.